Hello there and welcome to Linux S2 and in this video guide I'm going to show you how to install SQLite in Ubuntu or Debian distribution or any of your derivatives for that fact. So SQLite is a really lightweight database and it does not follow the old school client server model. It's just a self-contained file which has the database a schema and all the things that an application can require to access the database and uh, that particular file is simply amped to any particular application and then application can interact with that file just like it would do with a client server like database so let's see how to install it so the very first thing you want to do is to update your system so just do an apt update command simply to make sure everything is up to dated now just execute the installation command for SQLite 3 so the SQLite version 3 has been installed in the system now let me create a database and uh, after that I'll show you how to install the SQLite browser so that you can graphically manipulate the database. Now doing these all things through the command line can be tedious. So let me show you how to install SQLite browser so that you can do these things very easily through a graphical utility. So here's the tool and we can easily browse the database as we created. So here's the database that we just imported and uh, this is the table restore that we created and uh, these are the fields and now let's see what is the data inside these tables and as you can see there are two entries we can easily add new entries over here by just clicking on the new record and we can type the values over here for example I can say art apply and I can also type here 21 as you can see values has been inserted so you can use this graphical tool to do all kind of stuff that's like the PHP my admin or any database workstation tool so that is the guide about how to install SQLite in your system and how to install the SQLite browser so that you can graphically manipulate the SQLite database. I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, then hit the like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Nice, I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, take care and keep enjoying Linux.